Hello guys, this is Miron, and you are welcome to the new video. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to insert, delete, update, and view the data stored in the database in C sharp. In this tutorial, I'm using SQL Server 2014 and Visual Studio 2015. Without any more explanation, let's start. This is our final window form. As you can see, there are four labels rule number, name, address, and email, and four text box for each label, and four button for update, insert, delete, and new. And this one is the grid view. This grid view shows the data stored in the database in your font in application. Now we start the project. Click on File, New, and then Project. Select the C sub, Visual C sub, and Window Form Application. Give the name of your project. Now extend this form, drag for label and drop over this form. This is the text of its label, email. This one is for address. This one is for name. This one is for roll number. Now increase the size of this label from here. Now drag to drag for text box and drop here. Change the name of the text box. Txt roll txt name txt ready and then txt ml grab for button and drop over here BTN insert change the text insert delete Update. Mm, this one is new. Now change name of its button. Btn delete. Btn 
of death between new now open sql server and create one database Feed on table that consists of roll number, integer, data type, if the roll number is primary key. And then name Berger and this Berger email Berger. Now with this table with the name for this. Now we have to connect the database with this application. So before connecting to the database, double click on the insert and you have to write the connection string over this insert button. And also you have to write the connection string over the delete button and also for update and new button. So if you write the connection string for each button, it will be time consuming and also if your database is changed, you have to update the connection string for each button. So to remove such drawback, add new classes a new class and write the connection string in that class now insert this class create one function now call that function in each button click event so as to connect with the database through this method if your database is changed you have to only update the connection string only on the classes and not on each button so this method of connecting the database save a lot of time and remove number of keystroke and also ever tediousness in your coding so click over here then click on add new item Click on class, keep the name of the class, connection, connection, click on add, you have to enter the right, the name is this, using system dot data dot SQL client using system dot data write the connection listing over here yes. 
before writing the connection string connect your database click here data connection right click add connection and select your skill server select your server name And select the database or database is project in C sub. Click OK. Now write the connection string. SQL connection on is equal to new. SQL connection and you have to insert the connection, connection listing over here. Click on your database from here and from the right side of your browser here, control A and control C and control B. This is a connection string. Now, click on function public SQL connection active con. 